Welcome to video three of a four video series that covers step three of the training for a digital SRM student and step two of the onboarding process for new Hawksite SRM platform clients. In videos one and two, we focused on the configuration of the Risk Master database, uh, namely with threat and risk treatment data. In this video, we're going to use that data to create your first semi-automated security risk assessment. So the first thing we need to do is log back into your account. And the next thing we need to do is set up a new security risk assessment project. So there's two ways of doing that. You can click on the icon on the far left hand side and then add, click on the blue add new project uh, button. The other way of doing it is to click into the map at the location that you wish to set up the risk assessment, right click and then press add new project. Either way, the add new project page will appear. So then we fill in the various data fields. So that's the name of my new SRA project. I'm going to select general controls and GBP as the project currency, the SRA currency. In this case, I'm going to use templates to speed up the process of writing the report. So I've done a previous office SRA in London, and what I'm going to do is copy all of the data. Now, what that's going to do is populate the same context data, the same critical assessment data, but it's going to update the threat assessment based on the previous threat activities that the uh, demo office SRA report had, so it's updated threat analysis. If I want to add a description, I can add free text here, and then I'm going to put in the company name and address. Now the, the ones with the red star on are data fields that need to be completed. Without the stars, they don't need to be. It's up to you. I'm going to complete all of them today put myself as the point of contact that's my contact email and then I'm going to uh, select the project location type so it can either be a point or it can be a line or it can be an area or you could set multiple points that you wish to be included in the SRA today I'm just going to use the point now if I want to refine the location from the map then I can put a search, put the address into the search and that's now identified exactly the right location. I can also just move it manually if I uh, wish to do so. Whatever I put into the search field is automatically updated in the address field. If I wish to have notifications of incidents that may be uh, entered, in this case within fi a five kilometer radius of that, then I can select this notification and then I'm going to add a logo and now I'm ready to save the new project security risk assessment now this may take a little bit of time to uh, to save this data because the system is now taking all of the new threat data assigning it against the templated asset data assigning target attractiveness and then um, updating the risk analysis. Okay, so the project has now been added. Now subject to the complexity of the project you're using as a template, this could take up to two or three minutes uh, while it assigns all of that data together. But once complete, you're then taken to the risks portal with all of the data already taken across. So this is your semi-automated risk assessment. What we mean by that is that you now need to refine some of the data input to make sure that it is uh, fit for purpose for this specific risk assessment. So the first thing we need to do is go and take a look at context. Now all of the free text data that has been entered into all of these fields has been taken from the template. Of course if you didn't uh, if you didn't use the template option these would always be blank. Uh, and then you could just start populating this afresh. But you need to go, if you have used the templated option, you need to go through these data fields now and then refine them 
certainly the free text fields refine them uh, for the risk assessment that you are carrying out specifically. You may also want to go into the risk treatment uh, framework to be able to see if the consequence criteria uh, is still relevant, the risk matrix construction uh, is still relevant, and the risk level response is still relevant. So you can go through all of these context fields and then just overwrite the free text fields or adjust the risk framework as suitable for this particular risk assessment. The next thing we need to do is go and take a look at the threat assessment. So as we said before, it has looked at all the threat activities that were used in the uh, previous risk assessment that you've used as a template, but it's used the values that have been that are updated in the in the uh, risk treatment master. Uh, so what you need to do now is go and take a look through the threats that have been assigned that are indicated by the green tick to see if all of these are relevant to this risk assessment. And in this case, we've got aviation accident that is all, aviation accident that is auto populated, but for a corporate security risk assessment, it may not be relevant. So all that we do is untick it. Now, if you accidentally untick it and you want to put it back into the assessment, you can just retick it and it will reassign it. So I'm going to remove that in this case. But before, after we make any changes to the uh, to the auto populated data, we must press risk analysis in order for the system now to recalculate the risk register based on the fact that we've now removed that threat assessment. So that is now an updated risk analysis based on the refined threat assessment. The next thing we do is we go and take a look at the critical asset assessment. Now again, I adopted to template all of the critical assets from a previous corporate office risk assessment. And so they've all been brought across also at the level of criticality that was assigned. Now, if I wish to uh, edit this, then I can go into the edit function here and I can change the level of criticality. Indeed, I could uh, I could change the, uh, the 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 terminology used for critical asset, but normally we would just be looking at changing the level of criticality. In this case, I'm not going to make any changes. What we can also see is that the threats have already been assigned, the consequences have always been already been assigned, and the target attractiveness has already been assigned. You can click into any of these functions to update or edit the auto assignment of threat against critical asset, consequence and target attractiveness, etc. Um, the next thing we need to look at then is the risk treatment side of things. So again, based on the threats that you assigned against the risk controls in video two, when setting up the risk treatment master database, they will have auto assigned all of these security controls. But once again, it might be that in this particular case, some of these controls aren't relevant. So let's say, for instance, that the corporate office is not part of a, um, a global organization and therefore global incident monitoring uh, or global intelligence monitoring isn't part of that and I want to remove it, then I just press the delete icon. And what that does is it removes that control from the risk analysis. It hasn't removed it from the list, it's still there but it says that no risks are associated to it. If I wish to change that, then I can press undo delete and it will reassign it. Once again, if I make any changes within the risk treatment uh, controls that have been assigned, I need to click risk analysis for the system to recalculate. And there it is. So for video three, that's the end of the semi-automated risk assessment and we've now tailored it to include only the threats that are uh, relevant to this particular risk assessment project and only the risk treatment controls that are relevant to this particular project and we've shown you within the critical asset assessment where you can edit the threats assigned the consequence um, signed and the level of consequence to um, that particular threat against the asset and also the target attractiveness. So this is where you can edit any of the automated data that's been loaded into the system.
thanks very much for listening.